Opie and Anthony, uh, No Anthony, Jim Norton, Patrice O'Neill. And I, I just said, uh, just before we went uh, back on the air, I go, Patrice, have you seen any good movies? Says, Patrice is a movie guy. He sees pretty much everything, everything that comes out. Oh. And uh, you said Taken? I saw Taken. Which isn't even out yet. you got to see Taken. But we're lucky enough in this business that we get the, you know, screener copies and stuff ahead of time. I haven't gotten a copy of Taken yet. I'll give you mine. That's the Liam Neeson movie you were Liam saying? Liam Neeson is, is so simple. you got to see this movie. Basically what? His daughter? Is... He's looking for his kidnapped daughter. Who, she goes to what, Paris or something to go to school it's, or let something? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you first of all about the movie. Yeah. Just a quick thing. Yeah. There's no elaborate nonsense it's just it's not like hmm twist and turns his, his, his daughter goes on a trip and she gets kidnapped and it's not like hmm espionage. he's an ex-spy right who just he just retired he's poor he's a trained killer basically he's, he just he, he's divorced his wife yeah his wife is married to some better guy now and yeah. he's just kind of relaxing his his daughter um gets kidnapped in an apartment her and a friend and and it's not an elaborate thing you got to follow. It's just a dude right. who's looking for his kidnapped daughter. Some Albanian prostitution ring. Just some badass. That's it. It's That's all it is. And he is... And, and movies like this, which I love, are like Game of Death or video game movies mm -hmm. where there's levels. Like you find, you know... Sort of bad guy, right. then you find batter guy, then right. you find it. It's like that, and he just keeps finding who he needs to find. It just keeps going he gets up his the, daughter, and it's up the ladder. It's not. It's just about him finding his daughter. It is a bad movie, and right. I mean good. Bad. As far as uh, previews go, the preview for that movie, dude. Wow, I'm it's, like, I gotta see this one. It's one of the best movies like that. It only movie that that comes close is a uh, payback with Mel Gibson. Yeah. Just the way it is, it's just relentless. There's a scene in Taken that's so good that even if the movie was bad, it would have put the movie as good. Okay. If this, if it's, I it's it right. is just a great movie. I don't even know if Liam Neeson acts because uh, he he kind of lives around us, and I see him every once in a while, and you don't want to say hi to the guy. <laughs> he is that guy when he's just walking the streets. Well, him and some of these guys, I don't think they're real actors. I think they're just like. Being themselves in these Alec movies. Alec Baldwin is too. Alec Baldwin, you just see him catching a, a cab by yeah. himself. Yeah. No fear. Yeah. What up, buddy? Yeah. Hey, yeah. I love that guy. I love Alec Baldwin. I love that Thirty Rock. He's that dude, like in the streets, and, and Liam is that. But Liam is a uh, like uh, some some crazy make or something, man. He don't play games. Uh, he doesn't mess around. Yeah, hey, man. Whatsoever. <laughs> Whatsoever, I should say. But before we get into that point you just made, just before we turn the mics on, we got to talk about Take It, a movie we discuss. <laughs> All the time. And have you seen Taken? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Did you like it or not? Yeah, I liked it. I, I definitely liked it as well. Jimmy <laughs> hated, hated it. it. Uh, hated it. Starting with that. I, I, thought, no, the, but I, tell you, I just, thought the storyline had some, some issues, but yeah, the action was amazing. And there was no storyline. It was his fucking dumb daughter goes overseas after she runs like a retard. A pony! <laughs> a fucking retard run. Watch her run. It'll ruin the movie for you. This is her run. Watch. Jimmy does it perfect. Watch. A pony! <laughs> the, fuck that, the fucking hacky writing. The father, he brings her a fucking what a, a Susie oven bake, whatever the fuck. It was a Mr. And microphone the, or something. Yeah, right? it, so, it sounds like it. It sounds yeah. like the beginning of trying to get him to like his daughter. Yeah, that you. It's obligatory. No, he See, wants his daughter to he, like him. But the the new father, you know, has all the He's money to buy the pony, it's, it's, it's and he doesn't have those. Yes, lessons. it was hack one hundred and one, and then the CIA yeah. buddy's sitting around. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, trying to get back into the organization. It was fucking. Yeah. Watch yeah. her run. Yeah. Watch yeah. fucking. Yeah. Look, look at this hacky scene. Look at Liam his, his awful fucking hair dye. Why? It looks natural. It to me. Look at her. Watch, watch the run. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking idiot she and is! She's too old to do that. Right, with yeah, her arms she is. She's thirty-seven and she's running for a pony. <laughs> well, her best friend's supposed to be what seventeen this in the movie, and her, her best friend looks like she's thirty or something. So bad. This is just clips of her this, running in this movie, this which is hysterical. This helps with the movie, though, it, because he, you, she's she's semi-retarded. <laughs> he has this semi-retarded daughter and this new rich guy who's just buying stuff. But this guy, oh my Liam god, is oh, tremendous. On. But on YouTube, someone put all the running. Yeah, Montage. Yeah, this is a new. Do you see it? 
Wait, isn't that our it's, thing? Yes. Oh. It's, it's a fan of the show, obviously. Oh, one of the, oh, one of the fans came That's up with fantastic. this. fantastic. And Liam Neeson's fucking hair is soy sauce colored hair. <laughs> soy that was that sauce. fucking it's, terrible. It's, soy sauce <laughs> it, it's taking a running retard, but they spell retard R E T A R T, right? Retard. The retard. story was so fucking. Check weak. it out on YouTube. They, this guy did a yeah. great job. One of our fans. The story obviously. was so weak. She goes over there <laughs> and she calls him while she's under a bed, and 20 minutes later he's on the first flight out. <laughs> All right, use my iPhone app to catch. These bad men. Oh, let me walk through the house. Oh, I hope my hair dye doesn't leak onto my white shirt. Hey, in the airport randomly, you're the guy. Let me chase you and then hop a cab to go to the exact address. Oh, wait a minute. There's a hair fiber. Oh, wait, it's mine. It looks like a soy noodle. Do you watch, do you watch genres? Like this and enjoy it. Yes, I have a good action movie. Like Every I've... fucking movie like this, you can has the cliche look, if, part. If, has some if issues. Really, if you think about, you can't watch any zombie movie ever if you look at it too closely. Because the thing about a zombie movie is, how the fuck do they know the other ones are zombies? If you go, if you just look at that and say that, that'll fuck the movie up. Wait, how do, you, how do the zombies I mean, know? How, like the zombies, everybody's going around, Ugh, brains. But this motherfucker next to me. Is a zombie? I, I know it. Like I, I diagnose yeah, it. You know it. Just because yes. he's the zombie. Uh, so no, you say you just act know. like a zombie, and they'll never get yeah, you. The zombie zombies have team? some kind of zombie thing. Danny is a pro professional. They definitely. This pro there's like some kind of like sixth sense. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You just know, like they know, how, they they do how does a dog it. know another dog's a dog? It's they just they just it. know. <laughs> zombies yeah. can smell other zombies. That's right. Do you hear what the fuck we talking about? It's suspension of disbelief. You fucking asshole. I don't mind that. The but movie I still is like... a guy that's chasing his fuck. First of all, Liam Old Neeson yes. is chasing his retarded daughter around the world. He said it. I have. A, I don't have money. I have a special uh, array of skills. And I hated that too on it's the phone. A great. That and then trite here's speech. what the movie did. After that, after the triteness and after the old shit. He did what he was supposed to be doing. Yes, made a B film. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking went and did fucked up shit to people to no, find his daughter. No, it's not that I, listen to me, I'm not a movie snob. Like, I don't need a perfect storyline. But when a storyline is, is so awful, or he saves the starlet, and at the end he gives, he brings that lung-headed bitch daughter in his, <laughs> here's your gift, here's, come meet the superstar. Long oh, thank dead. you, I answer my own door, I live in the suburbs. That fucking shitty house she lived in. Yeah, it was, there was so many by. shitty parts of it, and it ruined it for me. I love a good action movie. I love John Woo movies. I love fucking, uh, I like uh, the original. Which, which John Woo movie did you like? Fucking uh, uh, Hard Boiled, fucking The Killer. Well, those are those are his, those are the movies before Hollywood got mm -hmm. to them. That's what I like. That's How about stuff? Hard Target? No, I don't, I don't know if it's American. Because see, cause see the, Asian, the, the Asian uh, movies are different than American uh -huh. movies. But I can switch, I can suspend disbelief. Like when Xiao Yun Fat is rolling around shooting 11 people and not getting shot. I can suspend disbelief and just enjoy that. Like it's it's well done. But that's what Liam Neeson was doing. It was it's, terrible. It's soy sauce threw you off. <laughs> I didn't like so many things about. It. Some of the action was good, um, but the fucking it, it, like. Uh, the scene you talked about off the air about where he shot the other guy's wife. Yeah, that was a great scene. I'm, it's one they of just the don't do that greatest in Hollywood. movie scenes yeah. I've yeah. ever seen. He shot the guy's fucking wife. Right and this is And this is what I liked about the movie. And I agree with all the bullshit. The great thing about the movie is that it he he's not fucking around. <laughs> That's what I like about it. So he's like, look, man. And he's talking to this old his old partner. He's like, look, man, I need my daughter. And the guy's like... Listen, Liam, and he just shoots the guy's wife to go, I'm not fucking <laughs> around. Wow, tell me what you know. And then, wait a minute, wait! Another greatness. The, the, the guy getting ready to make the speech like, You Americans can't kill me. You have rule. He soon as the guy welded his mouth up to give a foreign guy fuck American speech, <laughs> Liam electrocuted him. He wasn't even going to. I'm not fucking around you with gonna you. You're going to stand for the. You have rules and regulations <laughs> he that sat you must in a chair. adhere to. He put a sock in his mouth. He 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 connected it to the light bulb socket, and the guy's getting ready to go. I'll never. <laughs> Damn it, wait a minute. I forgot this part. He nailed his hands to a chair yeah. with, his, with, with two spikes in his hands. The guy's sitting in the chair, and he's like, well, let me. 
Wham! <laughs> Jesus style, motherfucker. <laughs> and electrocuted that cocksucker. That's what I enjoyed about the movie. All that stuff was real uh, strong. The Leo, storyline is where I'm with Jimmy. It's a weak storyline, but he's he. The, but he's, why didn't they clean that up? And then they would have had a yeah, fucking Forrest major Gump fucking is a weak storyline. Oh, what the like Forrest Gump stinks. No, nah, well, but it's it's a little bit more. Like this is for an action movie. It, it's it's in a way. It's to me. It's cheating. Like they do things they don't have. Like like fucking Lethal Weapon is a great fucking cop buddy action movie. Like it's a great Lethal movie. Lethal Weapon is a great movie. Like I don't. I, so I'm not above loving. I love Schwarzenegger. I think he's the best action star ever. I can watch almost anything Schwarzenegger does and suspend disbelief. But there was something so cheesy about this, and I Running felt like they Man cheated. Running Man wasn't cheesy. I, loved, I don't remember I Running Man. Running, Running Man was pretty cheesy. I yeah. love Schwarzenegger too, but Running Man wasn't that cheesy. Wasn't one of his. Uh, I think Man wasn't cheesy. You know what though? Yeah, yeah. I they, think they, they were trying. I see Patrice's point because I think they were trying for something else, though. Yes, a good movie. Like yeah, they were. They, yeah, but you know, <laughs> you're right though. They were. With those other action movies, it's like, hey, here's an action movie. Let's just fucking throw it. We'll have Arnold fucking shooting these guys up. and that. This one, I think they were trying for like a sentimental kind of uh, more of an involved story, a film. Not just the movie. I think they were really trying for more than just an action movie. It was a just a little bit. They were trying a little bit there, and that's the parts that get like, oh, come on. How about you call Interpol and have them get your daughter instead of hopping a flight <laughs> well, after hearing a recording and then laying under the bed because you sense it? Oh, beat it. Put a hat on with that awful hair dye. It always comes down to a hat with Jimmy. <laughs> that fucking hair dye made me sick. She's obsessed with hats. 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 Hey, look, the bad guy's hats. running his sushi on Liam Neeson's head. <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoyed how much <laughs> Liam Neeson was not playing. It, it just, it, he, well, he shot that guy's wife. Yeah, yeah. I said this is this is yeah. one of my favorite movies. I, I can watch this over and over just because just, of what he's fucking doing. We're, not, we're never gonna get anywhere with this argument, <laughs> <laughs> which is fine. It's, it's, it's like it's a couple of good. Yeah, I agree with it. It was a couple of great scenes, but even Dolomite had a couple of great scenes. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy, it's a movie. I like. You know what? Uh, I don't want to get off the subject though of movies because uh, um, uh, this got started the discussion because of the new Jamie Foxx movie. Yes, that is coming on, and I have something to say with Gerard about uh, Butler, this. Right? Yes, I have What's something to say about, about who, this. Who, Bring everyone to the table. What's the movie about? I have no fucking idea. Some, some CIA type it's about bullshit. A, it's about a, a, a guy. I saw the trailer. So basically, mm. it's uh, Gerard Butler's uh, daughter, I think. Something bad happened to her. And oh. Jamie Foxx. What does he go to get her and go under the bed with a tape recorder? <laughs> yes. So he saw his hair. <laughs> well, he teases his hair up with little with the condiments. And <laughs> 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 so he saw his hair. <laughs> Fucking Kikoman shampoo. <laughs> Watch it, you'll never not look at Liam Neeson's awful fucking soy sauce colored wig. It's fucking horrendous. I can't Thank fucking you, Kenny. deal with that.